Hey, welcome back to Old Teabags Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at something a little different. We're going to take a look at the new Galaxy Gear S2 smartwatch from Samsung. So let's just go ahead and dive right in and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so first of all, here I just wanted to go over what you do get inside the box. I did get both colors. I got the white and silver one here as well as the dark gray one. So, inside the box you do get the wireless charging dock. It comes with a standard Android charger. Which you plug into the back here. And then it just sits on there with a the magnet, holds it in place while it's charging overnight. You also do get an extra sized wristband. This would be the small one. The wristbands are really easy to swap out. Um, they are going to be available in different colors. Although when you do get your Gear S2 out of the box, it only comes with replacements in the same color as what you purchased. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But other than that, excellent choice. And then obviously you get the Gear S2 itself, a handy little device. I would definitely recommend picking one up to anyone. It'll work on any Android device. iOS support is rumored to be coming soon. Um, it does have 4G LTE compatibility. Go ahead and power that up for you. See if we can get it there for you. And then it is able to forward all of your calls from your phone without your phone being on you. So you can leave your phone at home, you can travel for business, and it'll automatically get all of your calls. See right now it's not connected to the phone and it's auto-updating itself. Able to continuously get phone calls and messages without it. Um, another benefit to it is that since you can do that, you're able to leave your phone at home when you go out for a business meeting, something like that, where you need to focus, and instead of having your phone on you, you're able to get all of your important information without having to look like, you know, that guy who's pulling out his phone during dinner. Um, I would definitely get, recommend getting one that matches your phone, obviously. Um, it does have a few other functions, too. So it does keep your steps counted. Um, it has your calendar for your events, keeps track of the weather, it can play music directly on here, It'll play a clip without hopefully hitting a, a copyright strike, so you can hear that. See? That's about all I want to do. Alright, it uh, measures your heart rate, see, there, there's my heart rate about an hour ago when we were at Walmart. But yeah, excellent little watch, you're able to get different watch faces through the app store. And everything, though, for the first pair uh, does require a phone because it requires the Gear Manager app. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how that works right now. Okay, so here's the Gear Manager app running on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Go ahead and open that up for you guys. Take a look. If it's going to cooperate. There we go. Right now it's searching for the watch. All right, so you've got watch faces, notifications, apps layout, send content. So from here, you can actually send photos or music to the Gear S2. It'll, you can have auto sync on, but the Gear only has four gigs of onboard storage with no expandable memory. So I don't recommend that. Um, just pick your kind of favorite songs and stuff to send to it. Um, you have a find my gear option and on the gear, you have a find my phone option. So that'll give you the uh, chance to actually send information back and forth. If you lose either one, it'll set off like a ringtone for it. As well as you have a Gear Apps store here. And what that'll do is allows you to download new apps for it. There's an Uber app, an eBay app, CNN. Um, they're really trying to make it an all-in-one smart device so that you're not really using just your phone anymore. They really want you to kind of just have the watch. And I could really see maybe in five, ten years where we don't sell cell phones anymore, we're selling more wearable devices instead. But yeah, other than that, it's an excellent device. Um, I recommend it to anyone who has maybe a small business. Maybe they need um, to keep track of your kids especially. If you've got new drivers in there that don't necessarily want to wear Bluetooth headsets, able to take a hands-free call with this without a problem. And definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested in the latest tech because it is probably one of the funnest things that you can play with. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.